Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to quickly get the film look in Movie Studio Platinum 12. It's pretty easy to do, and you can do it with video from any source. What you're seeing on the screen here is video that I shot with my dash cam, and I want to show you how you can turn footage like this, which isn't really super high quality, into the movie look. And the movie look is going to look something like this. Now, it's pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you the steps involved. First thing you do in Sony Vegas Movie Studio is bring the clip up onto the screen, and set your project properties. To do that, go to Project, come down to Properties. If you're shooting widescreen video, you're probably going to want your project properties to be 720-30p. Now, I know a lot of people say you should set your film look video to 720-24p, but I think that that stutters when you put it on the web, so I like the 720-30p. So once you've done that, go to your footage, select the Pan and Crop icon, and on the Pan and Crop window, this is very important, hold down the Control key, now, while holding the control key, grab the top of the window and drag it down. And you notice over here that it's compressing the screen. You're getting black bars on top and bottom. Now, those black bars give you that cinemascape look. Now, the advantage of holding the control key is that you can adjust it to the width that you want, typically something like that. Then when you let up a control key, you can move your pan and crop window to get the screen the way that you want. So if you want more sky, you can move it up like that. You can move it to the left. And that's one advantage of using pan and crop instead of cookie cutter is that you can move it around. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is to select a video event. And there's two ways to do that. One is you can click this icon right here, which pulls up the event effects. Or you can just drag an event effects over here if you've pressed the video effects tab. And what we're going to select is the event effects icon right there. And when we do, we're going to see a list of effects that we could apply. Now click the Sony so that you only get your Sony effects up. And the first one we're going to call up is the Sony Color Corrector. And you've got to click it twice, and when you do it, it'll show up right there. And then we click OK. Now on the Color Corrector, on previous versions of Movie Studio, you had a number of presets that you could use. But on the current version, which is Movie Studio 12, you don't have that many presets. So what I've done is I've created a preset that gives me the colors I want. And I'll show you what that preset is. I called it Movie Look. And you can see how it changed the colors here. I'll turn it off. This is before movie look. This is after movie look. You notice it changes the tint just slightly. Now, if you want to create that preset in yours, go to the color corrector. And in the color corrector, enter these parameters. For low, enter 11.76, comma, 0 0.274. For mid, enter 301.61, comma, 0 0.4733. For high, enter 163.61, comma, 0 0.2747, and saturation, put a 1. Now, you can change these to whatever you want. Uh, you also want to make sure that you enter these figures that you see over here. So once you've done that, type in the word movie look and hit the disk icon, and it saves that as a preset so in the future you can come back and use it. Now, the thing about these presets is that you can play around with them and adjust it till you get the look that you want. Maybe you like that look better whatever look you want, but if you decide, no, I don't like that, I want to go back to the default, you can select default, and you can go back to the preset that you've already created. Now that you have the color corrector in, we want to add one more effect, and to do that we click the plug-in chain icon here, and the effect that we're going to add is Sony Light Rays. So we select that. You make sure it shows up in here. The way you do that is you double click it and click OK. You can see the default doesn't look very good at all. What I've done is I've created a preset called Film Look, you may not see much difference that it makes, but I'll show you the difference by turning it off. So we turn it off, and then we turn it on. We turn it off, and then we turn it on. And notice what it does. It darkens the edges just slightly. allows you to focus on the center of the screen. Now to create that preset, you want to go to the Sony Light Rays effect. Make sure sensitivity is 1, strength is 0, and put a check in bound radius. That's very important. And then the radius X is 1, the radius Y is 1, and the feather is 692. You can change that feather to feather more or less if you like. I kind of like 692. And blend is 0, noise is 0, and then if, if you want to move the light source around, you can. But I like what I have, and I'm going to choose that again so you can see all the numbers the way that they were. And like we did before, type in the word film look and save preset. And you're done. Now, if you want to see how quickly that can be done once you already have your presets, let's pull that back up on the screen. Go to Project Media. We pull it up on the screen right there. Click anywhere in the video that we want. We click Pan and Crop. 
hold down the control key to pan and crop that. Got that the way we want it. We'll move this down just a little bit. The next effect we're going to apply is the color corrector effect. We click color corrector. We'll make sure it shows up there. We click OK. On the color corrector, we're going to choose the movie look preset. We're going to click the plug-in chain to add another one. The one that we add here is Sunny Light Rays. Click OK. We're going to choose the film look, and we're done. So by adding these two presets, you instantly can create film look to any video you want. Now keep in mind, this video here that you're seeing on the screen was shot with a $35 dash cam that mounted on my dashboard as I was driving across Interstate 10 in Florida, and it turns that video into film look. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tip of the week. To find more like this, you can visit my website, www.bmyers.com, or to find a lot more, take a look at my DVD, 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which is available at Amazon as well as my website.